are these really the people that I'm competing against? That you're competing against? Good. So for this episode, nothing new. We're looking at another exchange where the person is just, come on, come on, come on. But it goes to show and just reiterate that, you know, what I always preach and that I'm not just, you know, making these proclamations based off of small pieces of data, right? I mean, from a statistical perspective, I fully realize that sample size has a lot to do with uh, the credibility of things. And if I sit here and take one little example of something and then make some broad proclamation from a statistical standpoint, okay, yes, I'll admit that's not the best. But here's yet another exact ample example of what I've talked about before. Uh, but it just really serves as a warning about how dangerous ego can be. How dang and not ego in the sense of I'm the greatest thing ever, more in the sense of I want to feel good about myself. I want to feel good about myself, that type of ego. And when that ego spins out of control, it literally makes you irrational, literally. And when you're confronted with it, the rationality, it just goes to a whole nother level. And uh, it's actually kind of frightening when you stop and think about it. But let's get into this. And this was an exchange I had on a message board. So we'll hop into it. There's kind of a back and forth. And in order to see this person just in total denial how you know their ego is blinding them to any sort of rational thoughts. Um, and it's just not a pretty picture. So let's get started again. This is from a message board. Uh, real quick before I read this, a little context. This is from a video chart analysis I did. If you're unfamiliar, uh, usually every day I'll do random analysis videos on ticker symbols. And some people believe that there's some like magical curse behind me. Well, let's just get to this. But this person is referring to one of these video analysis that I've done. Also, nine times out of 10, you're the kiss of death. Short much, do ya? My reply back, as far as kiss of death, you don't truly believe that. Now let's just start at, at the, the core, kiss of death. You know, that's implying some sort of, you know, mystical, magical, uh, you know, superstition, right? Superstition has no place in trading. So to be talking about kiss of death, in the form that this person is talking about it in, it's like, oh no, it's, you know, like these, your, your video chart analysis has some sort of magical power. It's a kiss of death, it's going down. This, now, most people don't believe this, and I've done videos on this in the past. I'm gonna prove that they don't believe this, but again, that circles back to just how strong ego can be to, to cloud people's judgment and make them irrational. So I told this person, you don't believe that. And how do I know that they don't believe that? Well, let's just keep on moving forward. So after I tell them that they don't believe that, yes, I do. Every stock I have been in and you showed up tanked with a gazillion shorters. And we all know you short. I hate it when I see you on a board. Someday you and your short, naked, and otherwise group is going to be named in a suit. And I look forward to that day. Now, when they're saying naked, they just mean naked shorters, meaning that there's sh pretty much shares coming out of nowhere. But we're not going to get into all that. Pretty much this person says, hey, your video charts, bring you and your shorters in and your, your group leads to the kiss of death because everybody's shorting and it, it's all your fault. You're the, you know, blah, blah, blah. And you know, they're setting themselves up as you can see already to cast blame. So here's my reply back. I believe you are a rational person. Therefore, again, I say you do not believe what you're saying. Here's why. At this point I have, I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt about being rational because I don't want to jump to conclusions. I want to give them a chance. So at this point in the conversation, yes, I am going to assume that they're being rational. So I linked them to a video and it talks about essentially what I'm going to get at here later. But if you're curious, I'll put the link to that video down below. Uh, but it's essentially something that says, Hey, if you believe that my videos are the kiss of death, if you believe that my videos cause stocks to, to tank, to go down price, why aren't you shorting them? Cause it, it seems like you found the Holy grail. So why aren't you taking advantage of this pattern that you've seen? So, and you'll see, I'm gonna carry that through, but that's the video that I was linking this person to. Again, at this point, still wanna give them credit, still wanna give them a chance to show that they are rational. The reply back to this link, you're an idiot and a lucky con man so far. Looking forward to the, the day when a truck hits you. I'll probably have to put that in my mean tweet segment that I'll, I'm, I'm gonna be doing again, but yeah, so. But notice what's going on. I have given them something with good solid logic 
I'm assuming that you as a viewer are, are rational and watching this thing. Well, yeah, if somebody says that they found the kiss of death where a stock always falls, then why aren't you shorting it? If, if, if you're that confident in it, why aren't you taking advantage of it? So I questioned them with that logic. And what was their reply? Just they totally avoided it and they want me to get hit by a truck. Let's keep on going. So at this point, I decide, you know what, I'm gonna hit them between the eyes and I say, why aren't you shorting the stocks I do videos on? Their reply back, the tactics used by you guys is pure con. You're just trying to justify yourself to me and frankly, don't bother. I've seen you show up often enough and like I said, kiss of death. Again, another question dodge. I'm not trying to justify myself to this person as I'm sure you can see. I'm asking them a question. Why aren't you doing this? And to think that again at the end they say, uh, kiss of death. So you're the kiss of death. When you show up, stocks go down. But you, they're not short, they're not, what? Why aren't you shorting then? Why, why won't you answer my question? Why, why? Let's just keep on going. Again, I'm not gonna let this person escape. So I say, why are you avoiding my question? If you found the holy grail, my video charts being the quote unquote kiss of death, then why are you not shorting them? The reply, Clay, F off, okay? Why aren't they answering this question? Why? Well, I think you know why. I kind of already alluded to it. Ego. I want to feel good about myself. I, I, this, I truly believe that it's his fault. I truly believe that he's the kiss of death. No, you don't. If you did, you'd be shorting those stocks. You just believe that. You say that because you want somebody else to blame. And that's the bottom line. I, you know, we always, it all, everything circles back to this. And you know, that's why trading and uh, you know, there's only so many things in trading you can talk about but this just puts a new twist on it. I mean, literally smacking him in the face. You saw I was using like 30 different exclamation marks and question marks. Why aren't you shorting then? Why aren't you shorting? And he wouldn't answer the question. Ego, the mind, it is a weird place. It, either you run your mind or your mind runs you. That's essentially the way to look at this. And his mind is puppet strings with this guy. A sad, sad state. And at this point, I don't know if he's rational or not. Maybe he's to the point where he's kind of like a loony person where um, he just, he, I don't know. I, I'm not a clinical psychiatrist, so I probably shouldn't try to evaluate this person. But anybody um, you know, that can count to 10 can look at this and just say, ah, that person's not in a good state. And like I said, we're competing against these people. And I've had some comments in past videos like, no, I think this person's trolling you. I assure you this person is not trolling you. This is not our first interaction. Uh, this person, you know, he, he's just, he, he's not a big fan of me. I'll just put it as, at that. Um, and for me, you know, in, in his eyes, I'm the punching bag. I'm his escape route. I'm his inject button, right? Uh-oh, I'm losing money. Eject. Well, it wasn't my fault. It was that con man's fault. It was, it was the shorting group's fault. It's the kiss of death. So I'm not going to beat this dead horse. You get it. Be wary of your ego. It's good to want to have confidence in yourself. It's good to want to feel good about yourself. But in trading, you can't equate being wrong and having a losing trade with you suck. You know, losing is part of the game. Now, assuming you're losing with a, a, a logical strategy, assuming you're losing in a controlled uh, fashion, you know why you lost, and you know you can learn from it, then that's fine. But uh, you know, if you're sitting there like this person and saying, "Uh oh, a loss means I suck," therefore I don't want to admit that it's my, it's you're going to put yourself on the wrong path. So. Be careful of your ego, be careful of your mind games, and remember, either you run your mind as a trader or your mind is gonna run you, and we just saw a very nasty example of how that can truly play out.